fans, Buddy Richards here. I am doing a test on the new rec system 1.1.1. 1. 1. 1. I'm going to see how long it takes me to earn enough rec from an Aurora lowest end ship, slowest ship in racing to get actually to the point where I can fly something decent. My target ship is going to be the Gamma, the uh, racing version of the Mustang, which uh, will allow me to be a little bit competitive. So here I am in my handy dandy Aurora. My gosh, I've never flown one of these and it looks like a boat. Oh, someone's here, so I better tag ready. And there's a few others not ready. All right, who's on? Oh, that's interesting. All right. Okay, so the reason I'm doing this is I want to see what a low baseline package, let's say you got an Aurora 2012 LTI, it's all you ever wanted to do, 80% of backers actually fly these low, low end ships, and I want to see how long it would take if uh, SIG hadn't been generous enough to give 5,000 rec at the start of the whole uh, rec. Rec, for those that don't know, is the arc arcade currency of arena commander it's not real money it just lets you rent ships for a week or weapons or whatever upgrades and that sort of thing and there's most certainly a whole bunch of users out there who do not have anything but a baseline aurora uh, might be lti so they don't want to um, get rid of it they don't want to cross chassis upgrade they don't want to mess with anything they just want to start the game and go so this is to see how long someone with that mindset will take to earn enough money for a relatively competitive ship on the racetracks. Uh, if you started your career, could you start it in Aurora and quickly get into your Mustang Gamma and then potentially earn enough to get a... Um, M50 or a 350R. Now the M50 350Rs are not currently available for rec, so wow, this is really filling up. Um, it looks like ooh, seven people. That's pretty cool. So I'm going to get my butt kicked here. There's no question. I'm probably going to come in last, and I'm probably going to get a few people to run into me and I'm going to be annoying on the track and to those that are experiencing that, I'm sorry, I'm going to crank 93% to my engine, not that that makes any difference yet, and here we go, so let's see where we get to with this, I don't even know how fast this thing will go, I think it's 180, oh look at that, I'm just, I was just, oh 150, wow, I am flying, let's just keep out of everyone's way, I'm not trying to win this thing, but I will follow the normal lines to a certain degree, and wow, look at me just, Fake that quarter. Oh, it's so fast. Oh, it's a boat. It's a boat and a box and a bunch of bars. That's all I'm seeing right now. Oh. No, nope, there's one out. I'm in second. How am I in second? I'm in second probably because there's a bunch of new racers on the track that do not know any of the shortcuts. That's the only reason I can see, or a few crashes have happened. I will laugh my head off if I actually can place or even finish this race before everyone else is done. Okay. Okay, a minute six here. Usually I'm here at under 30 seconds in the 350, which tells me my driving sucking as well as my ship being slow because I should be going faster. The best time in this ship should probably be two minutes per lap. That would be your absolute best time at 150 because there's approximately 18,000 meters at 150 meters per second, 120 seconds. A perfect race would be 120 seconds. 
No one gets perfect straight end-to-end -end lines, not even the best. So if you could get 124, I'm guessing, or under, you're doing really, really good in an Aurora. All right, where are we at? Okay, we had a 139 and a 202, 205. Wow. And I am just giving her here. Oh, sorry. I should be saying something. Anyway, so I'm following what is essentially the ideal time path for pretty much every ship. It is a lot easier in this little Aurora because, well, you're not flying through at 300 meters per second, you're going slow. So you have lots of time to correct, lots of time to maneuver. And here we go. All right. Where are we at? Still in second. Oh, and there's someone dying. Okay, so on this corner, this point here is kind of your ideal path. As tight into these buildings as possible. The 350R will be a little wobbly there and you'll be going around the corner and blacking out, redding out and crashing if you're not really, really careful. Look at those lag spikes. Oh well, we're not optimized and I have a feeling that when the new damage states come in, which is supposed to be like one-tenth of the um, size, I'm guessing those will go faster. Okay, that was a pretty good lap. 203. Yeah, that's what I figured. 203, 204 would be a pretty decent lap in this ship. Maps, math makes sense. Let's see if we can get a little better. Okay, now you want to have your AB on when you're doing really tight corners so you can, well, not drift so much. Okay, this is going to be hilarious. Oh, that is so small. What am I looking at? Right in there. Now, you want to go straight as you can from point to point. Well, that's a, a 300i or a 350r. I don't know. But I'm catching him. <laughs> I am catching him. And my little tiny 150 Aurora. Just giving her. Oh, there he goes. Look at that. That is clipping a gate. Or, oh no, it's probably the pole or that disc those poles. You probably clipped those poles on that disc. There he is. Alright, let's see if we can win this. Oh no, someone's won it. You can hear the firecrackers or whatever they are going off. I really want to shoot that guy. But I, I think I lapped him. I think I just about lapped Mole Prod. Race is ending in nine. Oh, come on, let me end. Let me finish. I'm not even gonna finish. Almost finished. Okay, so 2,187 wreck. I'm not even sure what my target wreck is supposed to be, what my goal is. But I got 2,187 on the first run with an Aurora baseline ship. Let's see where that gets us.